Worship is a word today that has been loaded with a lot of personal mystery and intuition and imagined spiritual experience by which people mean whatever they mean. I think one of the biggest crises we have in the church today, folks, is worship. Because what happens in our Sunday morning services nowadays is everything but worship. This great sense of awe that fills our souls, not because we are crushed to death, because the law has beaten us down, but because we've been brought into the presence of our Father and holy angels and cherubim and seraphim who surround His throne. And at the same time, there is this sweet intimacy and fellowship because we love Him, and as He's drawn us near to Himself, He's drawn us near to one another. That if God would have your joy complete, He must command you to do what will make you infinitely and eternally happy, namely, see, savor, and say His praises. God is the one being in the universe for whom Gathering attention for himself is not arrogant, is not selfish, is not abusive and manipulative, but is love pure and simple. Biblical notion of having a relationship with God it is in fact about being a part of God's covenant community and experiencing that community.